By mid-1944, the strategic bombing campaign against Germany had the Luftwaffe ready to use any weapon, no matter how strange, to try to shoot down Allied bombers. One of the most unusual was the concept of the fighter glider. Designed by engineer Richard Vogt, the BV-40, it was an interceptor aircraft with a smaller front end. To do this, he eliminated the engine, positioned the pilot at the front and made him lie down. This reduced the ease of being hit by enemies, allowing a dive speed of 800 km per hour. It had an armored cockpit protected by thick armored glass with a beveled nose, was armed by either one or two 30 mm guns mounted under the wings, with 35 rounds each. Like other small experimental German aircraft, the undercarriage was released after takeoff and landing was on retractable skids. 5.7 meters long and weighed only 950 kilograms armed the fuselage and wing were almost entirely made of wood and non-strategic material and could be quickly fabricated. It was planned that a squadron of BV-40s would be towed at high altitude by Messerschmitt Me-109s and released several thousand feet above a group of incoming enemy bombers. These small, silent gliders would dive toward the bomber formation, reaching a maximum speed of about 900 km per hour to open fire with their guns after which they would return to the ground to be recovered for further missions. Each Messerschmitt Me-109 would tow a pair of BV-40s to high altitude, and the initial attack phase would be carried out at a 20-degree angle. The pilot would be able to make one or two passes before returning to the ground. Despite the success of the first flight, which took place on May 6, 1944, a month before the Normandy landings, the project was cancelled. The turbojet interceptor design was preferred. Only six prototypes were produced. The BV-40 represented an innovative solution. This silent, armored glider with small size could become a serious threat to Allied aircraft. But it is just one of Blohm and Voss' many incredible aircraft. Keep following us. We will bring this company's most fascinating and extraordinary planes, worthy of a Star Wars movie, to the channel.